Hi, my name is Luigi Juanfetti. I am a professor at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, and I help lead the development of OpenIPSL, uh, which is a library built with the Modelica language to do power system simulations. And in this quick start guide, I'm going to show you how to uh, use OpenIPSL and OpenModelica. It's meant to be uh, quick, I hope. All right. So uh, the plan is just to have one slide of preliminaries and then just uh, tell you how to launch OMEdit, um, install the, the library within uh, OMEdit, which is OpenModelica's graphical environment, uh, load the library, run an example, view results, and uh, very briefly, where do you go from, from that point on? Okay. So, before you start, uh, you need to download OpenModelica. The website is uh, shown here. Uh, if you have Windows, you click on this link. Uh, the tutorial or this quick start guide is made with Windows. Uh, it would be good if you have some time uh, to get familiar with OpenModelica's graphical model and environment called OEMedit and OpenModelica as, as a whole. It's not necessary to follow the steps that I will do here, but uh, it will be good. Anyway, there's a short course uh, you can find on um, OpenModelica's uh, website. And there's also a spoken tutorial that what I'm doing right now uh, with you that I will show you how to do it, but it's for an older version of uh, uh, OpenModelica. So the part that I'm doing uh, probably is not there, but how to run models and using uh, OM edit, you can find it's not that different in terms of the mechanics uh, and the graphical interface has not changed substantially. There are differences though. Okay, the next thing uh, is OpenIPSL. Uh, you can find it in, uh, in this uh, link. Uh, actually, there is no need to download it from uh, the GitHub repository uh, because uh, OpenModelica has a package manager to do that. So don't download it. Uh, but if you want to look at more things, I recently posted a getting started video that is like an hour long. So uh, you can go on and uh, look at the video and look at the slides. I'll link, uh, put a link to the slides in the description. And uh, yeah, if you decide that OpenModelica is not for you, uh, guess what this library works with? Uh, another four tools and in the future five. So if you go and uh, look at the getting started video. I discuss what are the, uh, yeah, the, the limitations of the library, not of the tools, of the library uh, in different tools. Uh, but the one that we use for development is Daimola. So go and watch the other video if you decide that you don't want to use OpenModelica, there is options. And that's the beauty of the Modelica language. All right, so first thing. How do, after you have installed OpenModelica, so we're not gonna record it because it will take some time. Uh, you're gonna, to launch it, you just go to the, either the start menu and browse to the OpenModelica uh, folder and then click on OpenModelica Connection Editor, the OM Edit. Well, uh, or you can just simply type open Modelica and uh, you'll get these choices. You can either click on open or just hit enter. And then uh, OMR is launching and you will get the um, start window of OMR. Quickly, I will tell you that OMR has the welcome uh, a view or uh, yeah, the view or mode, welcome mode, modeling mode, plotting mode and debugging mode. Okay, so um, let's go to the next step. So as you see, when, when uh, you launch or edit, there's no libraries loaded except the OpenModelica library. So what we need to do is uh, install, um, <laughs> install uh, OpenIPSL. So in the latest versions of OpenModelica, there is a package manager that you can access via OpenOMEdit by clicking on File, 
go into manage libraries and then install library. So if you click install library, it will launch the package manager window and there we go. Now, uh, if you want to install OpenAPSL, you have to make sure that the latest version of release version of OpenAPSL, you have to make sure that it's partial because we have one model or two that don't work fully. It's practically doesn't affect almost anything. Okay, so once you've clicked on make sure that partial is clicked, you go and browse down to OpenAPSL and then select version 3.0.1 and make sure that this is also checked because it will load the correct dependency, which is the Moelic standard library that we use. All right, I click OK. So in my case, it's not going to do the installation. And in the message browser, it says clearly here, it will not be installed since that version is already installed. But in your case, it will be installed. Okay, so the next thing that we do is uh, loading open a PSL on the OM Edit browser. Well, if you see we installed it, but it's not listed here in the library browser yet. So we need to load it onto the library browser. So to do that, we go here to file, and then we're gonna go to systems libraries. And then you're gonna see that at the bottom of system libraries, now open IPSL is listed. And you can see that in my case, gotta be careful with my mouse. Yeah, I have two versions of it. One is the the release version, which is the one that we will use. And the other one is the pre-release version. It's the version where we're working on development with the team. So click on 3.0.1. And that is going to now uh, load uh, if, uh, as you see, it's telling you here, it's loading all of the dependencies that we have. We have the dependency to the standard Modelica library. Uh, we also use complex numbers in the library, so it's loading that, and it's loading Moelica services that is to print messages and things like that. Okay, so the library is loaded, so what's the next thing to do uh, is to run an example. All right, so what we're gonna, I'm gonna go in full window mode now, and I'm gonna go and browse the library, so we go onto the library browser, and I'm gonna click here, and that arrow opens yeah, opens up the, li the library. And under examples, you have a number of different types of real world and, uh, you know, uh, study or test systems, we call them. Okay, and we're gonna run the one under the tutorial. Uh, we're gonna run example one. All right, the tutorial uh, has many steps. This is the solution or where you should arrive when doing the tutorial. Okay, so it's already done uh, for you so that we could just run an example, but the, if you go through the tutorial, you'll figure out how to put it together and you can see the getting started video where I explain where to find it and so on. All right, so once you uh, uh, have the model uh, being shown there, you can simply go to simulate. So what I did here is that I, uh, right clicked, and then I can go and click on simulate. So you see the simulate icon is this green arrow going to the right. So uh, you can access it by right clicking on the model and then selecting simulate with, uh, with uh, left click, or simply clicking on the arrow here on top, which is what I'm doing. And then you see now the model is being converted from the Modelica language into C, an executable is generated, and the simulation is run. And you can see here uh, details about the, the, the solver, what it did, etc. if you're interested in that. Now, where are the results? So we run the example. So where are the results and how do you access them? So you should notice that we automatically, when the simulation, when the model was uh, being compiled, after we click on simulate, we were moved from the modeling mode of Open Modelica. Here you are in modeling, you see. We, we were moved automatically to the plotting mode, okay? And in the plotting mo mode, you will see here the, simu uh, the variables browser, okay? And here, 
inside of this is the resolve file and in the resolve file you have the result stores depending on the name of your component in the model so this guy is called g1 that's the generator in the plant that we're modeling this is the bus bar the substation there is a transformer there is another bus bar in the substation there's two power lines uh, there is uh, the rest of the network modeled by an infinite bus and there is a fault that is going to be applied to see if the system will uh, the, the power plant is going to survive, is going to be uh, stable or unstable. So if you look at the names of each of the components, the name is G1, for example. So we, we can look inside of G1 by going to the plotting area and then looking for G1 right there. And then you see that it has inside of it other things. So it has an automatic voltage regulator, a machine, okay? So if we wanna see the machine speed as typical exercise, we can uh, just go and look, type W as for omega speed. And let's see if we get anything, yeah. So this variable browser has here a search feature and it's giving me everything that has something related with W. So if we can plot here the speed, for example, the machine, uh, this is in per unit, so what we're seeing is that the, after the fault is applied, the machine is going unstable. It's instead of uh, being damped uh, and settling down to a new equilibrium, it's just going crazy, you see? It's going. All right, so uh, what about if you want to see other variables as the bus voltages? So all of the buses had a name B to start, B1, B2, B3, so we can do B star dot and i want the voltage magnitude which is small v so now uh, it's automatically sorting there and there's many uh, variables and parameters inside of the model that have a v but we just want that one so that's the uh, bus connected to the generator this is the infinite bus and the bus in between uh, is bus to uh, what am I doing wrong here? I didn't. Okay, so let me start from scratch because I'm not seeing so well with my old eyes. So give me a second here. What did I do wrong? Yeah, so bus three, it should be flat because it's, the network is strong and it's going to survive. And bus one should be going nuts. Yeah, because that's where the generator is connected. It's not able to stay in synchronism with the system. And where is bus two? Bus two is here. So you can also see the oscillations being reflected there. And this is a typical exercise that we do uh, with electrical engineers that are studying electrical power. So, all right. So I think we're done. I hope it was uh, shorter. The last part is uh, where do we go from here? I'm not going to read all this slide. I, if you go to the getting started video that I'll link below, uh, I'll cover all these details of, uh, who, yeah, where do you go from here? So that's all. Uh, thanks for your attention. Be, be aware of uh, the Pygmalion effect and uh, happy modeling.